What we're going to do here for this small project is repair the outboard bracket. This two bits of wood, or well, three at the moment, um, is clamped around the push pit and it allows us to hold, store the outboard on the push pit. As you can see, the wood has dried out and cracked, so rather than making a new one out of some dead trees from the rainforest, I thought I'd try and repair this one. First thing we're going to have to do is to sand off because the wood is decidedly weathered from all the decades it's been exposed to the sun. You can see where it isn't there. Um, secondly then, I'm going to probably glue the two broken bits together. Um, fine. Then I've got some aluminium, so I will use that to strengthen it and also provide a better thing to clamp. And finally, of course, I'll be varnishing it. Okay, now we've got the broken halves reasonably roughly sanded. The next thing to do is to glue them together with some epoxy. Epoxy is a rather nasty substance. So first of all, we've got a coffee because that's essential for any work on the boat. And we've got gloves to protect our hands. While we're waiting for that to cure, we can probably cut the um, aluminium. I'll probably do that outside because it's a noisy operation. Having measured this, it's 175 by 175, so we'll make the aluminium 165 by 165. I'll probably measure that out now. Missing the cutting disc, of course. Okay, well the cutting process is completed, it's not quite the tidiest. If you look, you can see a really big burr there. So I expect we can grind that off easily enough. And they do fit nicely. Well, Something that I neglected to think about is that the inboard side of the bracket has holes for screws to hold the two pieces together. This meant further cutting of one of the pieces of aluminium which you can see here.
Here I'm mixing up the epoxy for gluing the aluminium to the wood. Also apologies for the poor camera angle. I promise to get better at making these film things. Okay, we're in the final stage now where we're going to varnish them. Um, you'll get a different shot where you can actually see what I'm doing in a moment. Right, we mix this two to one. And before we go any further, we'll put some gloves on. Modern paints are really not something to mess with. We don't want them on. Take 10 millilitres of this. We can always mix up more if we need to. Actually, I think we'll do 20. Isocyanate hardener. <coughs> you will have noticed me coughing a bit, and maybe concerned about using these paints without some sort of mask not a COVID mask of course. Rest assured that with any bigger job I will definitely be using full protective equipment. That's basically it. We've now done these. Next time we're down on the boat, we'll fit them back on the push pit so we're ready to store the outboard, which is going to be an exciting thing to do.